Here we are, Got Gas 63 again. Our latest project, the solar panel tracker. We got uh, 480 watts of solar panels at 48 volts. Everything's homemade except for the panels. We'll start down here at the bottom. We have a 20 by 20 by 4 foot deep concrete uh, pier, and we're, we have rebar enforcement and half inch hold down bolt, bolts. And it's on a 8 by 8, 3 8 thick plate, a 3 and a half inch round tube. Come up, we got our electronic box with a switch to turn the panel on and off. We have a 24 volt switching power supply in the box to run the motor on the tracker. It's um, a five inch channel up here on the top and the channel is 22 inches long. We have a three quarter inch jack shaft with two pillow blocks. That's the main shaft that the panels mount to. This is an inch and a quarter um, non-galvanized, just black pipe. We have aluminum pieces going across with clamps holding them to the pipes. These are stops in case it's windy and it tries to force the motor past the stops. The whole panel is balanced. There you can see the 25 pound weight that balances the panels so that the motor can do its job. It's a HVAC motor for louvers on a large um, AC unit. It draws 60 milliamps when it's operating. It has a manual release right here. You can release the panels and turn them back. They're starting to turn back on their own. The wind blew a little bit. And then when you turn the switch on over here, put the power back to it, it tracks back. And there it went. Very quiet, very efficient, beautiful, works great. It's got an electronic eye to track the sun, which is right here. It's built into a um, landscape light. Made a round circuit board for it. It's got a cloud sensor. Right here is a cloud sensor. There's a dark sensor. Dark sensor's up here. And there's two more sensors that track the sun. And when it gets dark, like if you put your hand over it, I don't know if you could see, but it's tracking back. And then when you take your hand off, it tracks back the other way to track the sun. We picked up um, probably five to five and a half, almost six hours of extra sun by tracking the panel. This is just an east-west tracker. It's not uh, anything else. It just tracks east-west. These are the settings for, uh, this is summer, which is, I think, uh, 35 degrees. This is 45 degrees. This is 65 degrees for winter. So at the different seasons, you take out the bolt and you just lower the panel down and it's ready to go for the next season. We have a lower jack shaft here that goes into the motor over here and it drives this main shaft with a chain. Works really good. If the wind should blow over 45, 50 miles an hour, it'll actually force the motor and push the panels against the stop bar, against the stop bar over here. It hasn't happened yet, but it could happen. It's kind of a safety feature. But it's been working really well, and I just wanted to post a video so everybody could see. It's quite a monstrosity, but it works very well.